The reason why I chose it was I wanted to gain work experience um, outside of the classroom. Um, I wanted to apply the theories that I learned in class into hands-on experience through design. So it was really exciting. Hi, my name is Alexis Palomares. I am a mechanical engineering student here at Texas Tech University. I did an internship abroad at, in Osaka, Japan through the CRCC Asia Internship Program. Interning abroad was a totally new concept at first, so I had to ask a lot of questions to my advisor. Um, she was very helpful, so when it comes to interning abroad, it's an affiliate program. So you do have to apply through Texas Tech to be approved and also to the specific program you're applying for. So in my case, I applied through Tech, got approved, and then I applied to CRCC Asia and then got approved there too. So two-step progress, so it's very important to note that. Um, and also, it was interesting because I got to work in a small company since we focused on growth in small companies such as maybe 10 to 12 people in mine. Um, one person spoke English and the rest of them we used Google Translate to talk. But the barrier was there, but we still communicated well weekly. In my career, I want to, I want to apply those communication skills I gained, um, communicating with my coworkers and my boss, which is very important that everyone is on the same page, shares the same files. And I still apply that now in my classes, like for my Design 2 project, senior project. That's what I'm still currently doing. So hoping to use those skills and also be more inspired to design kind of prosthetics in my future. For me, my internship was kind of more on the design aspect rather than the building. So it kind of opened my mind like there is a lot of work when it comes to applying theory on what you want to design. It takes like, it's a big process between starting an idea and actually creating it. So learning that, um, I want to apply that so whenever I create ideas of my own, to see the steps I need to take in order to make that dream, that idea come to life. So communicating with your other coworkers to make sure everyone's on the same page, and also being open-minded to criticism and um, any inputs and concerns someone else may have. I developed professional and personal skills. So like more on the prof professional one, communication between my coworkers and the people I worked with. Since there was a big barrier with the language, I st we still overcame that and worked together through that. So that's something I learned. And teamwork, another big thing. If you don't get along in the beginning, like try and take steps to get along and to kind of have common ground because you get what you put into it. So if you don't give a lot in the beginning, you don't expect a lot. So open-minded, something that's something I learned. Um, Personal-wise, I gained a little bit of confidence, well actually maybe a lot. Um, so being able to explore different places uh, and put myself out there, uh, taking pictures and like meeting new people, um, I definitely felt some confidence and I feel like a whole different person. I think it also gives you a new global perspective, so kind of learning the customs of a different country. Also like maybe for me, figuring out the train system, like that was totally different and interesting compared to America. So you get to see, you kind of like do an internal comparison between America and the country you're going to. Um, other benefits is like you get to meet new people. I've met so many different kinds of people from across the world, it's like someone from Russia, Scotland, uh, Nigeria, even some people from Texas Tech. So it's not just Texas Tech students, it's way beyond that. So, and also gaining new friends. It was very exciting, like being able to go from like someone really shy in the beginning, like not wanting to really talk to anybody, but I put myself out there, which every student should do, talking to new people and even like the locals. So long lasting friendships for sure. One thing I learned is that also everyone's in the same boat when you go there. Like you just get kind of nervous meeting new people. Like what if everyone's friends with each other? It's not the case. Like everyone's looking to like gain connections right away. So kind of be open-minded to it um, and being open-minded to the culture so you can just gain the full experience. So just remain open-minded. That's the biggest thing I learned. What surprised me the most, um, the amount of growth that I went through. Um, I didn't expect from someone who was really, really shy, didn't really want to talk to anybody in the beginning, to someone who was carrying open conversations to whole different people that I didn't know and even the locals in Japan. So that was, that was really surprising and now I'm more open-minded to talk to new different people and just kind of 
be a little more confident, go up to them and say, hey, you know, what's, what's going on? So it's just the amount of growth was very surprising to me. I enjoyed so much in Japan. I, I don't know if I can choose just one thing, but um, definitely the trips that the program had. So for example, we went to Kyoto, which is a very traditional um, kind of cultural city in Japan, which is maybe 30 to 45 minute train ride away from Osaka, Japan, where I was at. So being able to look at the shrines and kind of like appreciate and watch the traditions that they went through and um, get some souvenirs, that was really exciting. So expl exploring their culture was very, uh, very cool and mind opening. Um, another thing, I love food so much, like trying different things. Before I went to Japan, I had tried sushi maybe once. So being able to try something more than like just sushi, but all of their food that they have, that was very exciting for me as well. It wasn't a big city, so it was kind of a smaller city to go around. So that was very uh, calming for me since, you know, sometimes big city stuff kind of can be daunting, but being able to have like a small community and being kind of in an apartment style area and talking to the locals was very, uh, it was easier than something that I would have encountered during the city. It was kind of a starting point from what an internship and what the work life will look like once I'm in the engineering field. So it kind of exposed me to that and it opened opportunities for future internships, um, such as a company like Kelsey Engineering I had in back at home. So it opened opportunities and it kind of exposed me to what the workplace is like. So after graduation, my plan is to go into graduate school, a PhD program in bioengineering or biomedical engineering, the kind of interchangeable terms. So then I can learn how to create, design uh, medical devices, so for the healthcare field. So maybe just like maybe a prosthetic arm or maybe designing materials to create it, robotics. Those are kind of the ideas that I have so far. So to hopefully get into the dream company of Johnson & Johnson. So those are some goals that I have and I'm really excited for that. For the biggest tip I wanna to give to students whenever they're applying abroad is apply to as many scholarships as possible. Um, there's also more to scholarships. So look at our website, the TTU IEP in the Google search. You'll look at the scholarships listed there through even the College of Engineering or uh, the international office. So there's a lot of options out there. And for me, I opened my mind to Facebook fundraising and GoFundMes, share it to all of your friends and family. That's one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give to students. So it's never too early to start looking for how to fund your experience abroad. Don't let it scare you. It's, there's literally a scholarship for you know, all different kinds of students out there. So don't be scared and always ask questions.